Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, where we explore blockchain and other advanced technologies. While the entire crypto community is waiting for Ethereum's upgrade, we suggest looking at the existing solutions that tackle Ethereum's sticking points. These are the so-called Layer 2 solutions. We will compare their most popular representatives – Polygon, Arbitrum, and Optimism. Let's start. But first, Layer 2 solutions. What does this even mean? Layer 2 refers to a series of different protocols that are designed to facilitate the creation of smart contracts on the Ethereum main chain. Being one of the most popular blockchains, Ethereum suffers from network congestion with multiple people making concurrent transactions. It generally leads to slow transactions and exorbitant gas fees. Currently, Ethereum relies on the secure proof-of-work consensus algorithm. When a transaction occurs on the platform, each node in the network has to process it, which ultimately results in a scalability bottleneck. On average, Ethereum processes about 13-15 transactions per second, and the cost for the transaction can reach $200. That's why users are looking for new platforms that don't impose such a heavy financial burden on them. And while Ethereum is still planning its upgrade to tackle these issues, we already have Layer 2 solutions. They bring increased scalability and speed to the platform while retaining the integrity of the Ethereum network. Polygon, Arbitrum, and Optimism deal with Ethereum's challenges differently. Therefore, let's take a closer look at each. Polygon blockchain is one of the most popular Ethereum scaling solutions. Technically, Polygon is a sidechain that runs alongside Ethereum. Unlike most Layer 2 scaling solutions, sidechains use their own consensus algorithms. They are independent, EVM-compatible solutions that run in parallel with the mainnet. Polygon sidechain is based on the proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, which offers better scalability and faster transactions. Let's compare it to Ethereum's proof-of-work. Ethereum processes only 13-15 transactions per second. Meanwhile, Polygon handles 65,000 transactions per second. Polygon also applies a layer to scaling technology Plasma, as well as ZK rollups and optimistic rollups. These are the scaling solutions that allow the platform to validate transactions almost in real time. As for the benefits and limitations of sidechains, and Polygon in particular, the picture looks as follows. Compared to on-chain Layer 2 solutions, sidechains ensure greater flexibility. They enable developers to add new features or updates before pushing them on the main chain. At the same time, being separate blockchains, they do not have the security of Layer 1. In contrast to Polygon, many Ethereum scaling solutions use smart contracts that reside within Ethereum. These solutions are called optimistic rollups. Both Arbitrum and Optimism are optimistic rollups. The benefits of optimistic rollups are quite obvious. They inherit both Ethereum's security features and its secure consensus mechanism. Optimistic rollups do not perform any computation but assume that transactions are valid and there is no cheating. If fraudulent activity occurs, the fraudulent transactions are rolled back, while those who committed the fraud get ejected. And here comes the main limitation of optimistic rollups – long wait times for on-chain transactions due to potential fraud issues. Arbitrum and Optimism are currently the most popular examples of optimistic rollups. Therefore, let's take a closer look at each of them. So, what is Arbitrum? The blockchain defines itself as a layer 2 platform that aims to improve Ethereum smart contracts by streamlining their transactions and boosting scalability. It is achieved by allowing developers to run unmodified EVM contracts and Ethereum transactions. Meanwhile, Arbitrum uses Ethereum to ensure correct results, thus benefiting from Ethereum's security. As for Optimism, the Layer 2 solution describes itself as a scaling protocol for Ethereum apps. It aims to make transactions affordable and accessible to anyone. Basically, Optimism looks, feels, and behaves as Ethereum, but it's cheaper and faster. As both Optimism and Arbitrum are optimistic rollups, the question is, are there any differences between the two? First, they differ in the way they deal with suspicious transactions. 
Optimism sends the entire transaction again through the AVM. As a result, the fraud proof verification is instant. However, the entire procedure becomes really expensive since on-chain layer 1 execution requires more gas. When it comes to Arbitrum, it tackles suspicious transactions off-chain. The protocol sends only the suspicious part within a transaction back to the AVM. This approach does take more time as it's necessary to narrow down the point of dispute and detect what is suspect. At the same time, Arbitrum can boast high transaction capacity compared to Optimism. Another difference between them lies in their dependence on Ethereum virtual machine. Unlike Optimism, which leverages Ethereum virtual machine, Arbitrum has its own Arbitrum virtual machine. Also, Optimism has recently introduced its governance token called OP token, while Arbitrum still provides native ETH support. And finally, let's proceed to the most interesting part. What are the differences between Polygon, Arbitrum, and Optimism Layer 2 solutions? To spot the key differences between them, we'll take a look at such parameters as overall ecosystem, consensus algorithm the protocol applies, token withdrawals, the level of decentralization, and finally, transaction speed and phase. Let's go. Judging by the ecosystems of each project, Polygon seems to hold a safer position. Established in 2017, the blockchain already boasts 90,000 dApps and about $2.5 billion in total value locked. Arbitrum was established in 2021 and now has 228 live projects, with the most popular categories being swapping and lending. Just like Arbitrum, Optimism was introduced in 2021. However, there are only 15 live projects based on this layer 2 solution. When it comes to consensus mechanisms, Polygon is more independent here. It relies on the proof-of-stake algorithm, which allows it to provide scalability and lower gas fees. To participate in the consensus process, users need to stake Polygon's MATIC tokens. This way, they indicate their commitment to the process. Both Arbitrum and Optimism take advantage of Ethereum's consensus algorithm and benefit from its perfect security. Comparing the three layer two solutions by their token withdrawal time, we'll see that Polygon is faster than its competitors. The withdrawals on Polygon through the proof of stake bridge will be completed in just three hours. Meanwhile, withdrawals with Arbitrum can take two weeks, while withdrawals through Optimism take from seven days and more. In terms of decentralization, both Arbitrum and Optimism occupy safer positions, since they are secured by Ethereum's widely distributed network of miners. As for Polygon, the platform is secured by Matic staking, which is a smaller pool of capital if we compare it to the miners who are securing Ethereum. And lastly, one more important aspect for comparison – transactions. Let's check the numbers here. Polygon can process up to 65,000 transactions per second, with low fees that range between $0.1 $0.5. Arbitrum handles 40,000 transactions per second, with gas fees ranging between $0.5 to $0.7. Optimism, in its turn, has the capacity to process up to 2,000 transactions per second, with gas fees ranging from $0.6 to $0.9. So, which platform should you choose? Always start with defining your goals first. For example, if you want to develop a complex solution with extensive functionality, then Polygon would be a better choice. Established in 2017, the protocol has a large ecosystem and community support. It is also faster than Arbitrum and Optimism and wins in terms of scalability. As both Arbitrum and Optimism boast Ethereum security, these layered solutions can help you to ensure increased security for your project. However, of the two, Arbitrum is more popular on the market. Businesses that plan to develop an NFT-based project should give their priority to Polygon, as it's supported by the largest marketplaces. Thanks for watching this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find even more technology comparisons and dive into other popular topics. You're also welcome to visit our Pixelplex blog, where we discuss a variety of trending themes. See you soon. Bye.